Hello future makers, welcome to Teacher Pranayam. You never get a second chance to make your first impression. Your interview went amazingly well and you are almost on the verge of getting selected. Exactly at this point, the interviewers tell you that within the next half an hour you have to give a demo in the class. Sounds breathtaking, right? Do not worry because in today's video, Teacher Pranav will tell you tips and tricks to ace your on-the-spot teaching interview demo. Trust me, if you watch the whole video and you try and imbibe all the points that we mentioned in today's video, you will not have to worry at all whether the demo be today, tomorrow or day after. So if you want to get ready for your on-the-spot teaching demo, then watch this video till the end. Let's get started. Most thing is to know your audience. Understand whether you're giving the demo in front of students, other teachers or in the front of the interview committee. Knowing your audience helps you decide how to teach. If you're dealing with young kids, you have to understand their mindset and the language that they usually speak in the classroom. If you're giving a demo in front of the interview committee, then also there are certain etiquettes that you need to keep in mind. If you want us to make a separate video on how to give demo in front of the interviewers or the committee of the school, then do comment below, I want demo video. If we get more than 20 comments, I promise you I will make that video for you. Now that you know who your audience is, you have to start off strong. If you start your class amazingly well with a good hook, it will help you to keep the attention of the listeners throughout your class. I will not talk much about how to start a class because we've made two separate videos on how to start a class. You could watch these videos and they will help you to create an amazing first impression during the start of your demo. Our next tip is to make your lecture fit the timing. You have to understand that the interviewer can ask you to give a demo for 10 minutes, 20 minutes or a full 40 minutes lecture. You have to be ready for anything and everything that might come your way. If it's a 10 or 15 minutes demo, then you do not have to squeeze in everything and follow all the steps to take a class. You could just squeeze in and come up with the most creative and important thing that you have to give in that topic. Also, if you have a full 40 minute class with you, then in the start, you could spend 10 minutes to know about the students and ask them about the previous knowledge that they have regarding the topic. And if you still have time left after you are done teaching, then you could use the last 10 minutes to ask questions to the students. This way you have to learn time management specifically for on the spot demo. If you manage your time well, you can ace your demo. Another way to have an amazing on the spot demo is to have a two way communication. Chalk and talk ke zamane chale gai. Now it's time for playway method of teaching. Involve your students, ask them questions, get them interested in your class and that's how you'll have an amazing class. You could have brief but meaningful activities that can teach the topic well as well as get the students interested in your class. This way you'll have a win-win situation. The students will also enjoy and you will also have a good impression on the interviewers. My fifth tip is that if you do not have any teaching aids with you, you don't have to worry. You could use things in your surroundings that you can see in your vicinity as teaching aids. Trust me, attractive teaching aid is not the most necessary thing. What is important is you use something to help the students understand the concept well. For example, you are a science teacher, you could just grab a beaker from the science lab and do the float and sink experiment. Iskile, you don't need anything else. Just with two simple things, you could teach them what floats and what sinks in the water and that's how you take your class. Remember, if you don't have resources, you have to grab things around you and make them your resources. That's what smart teachers do and that's what is expected out of you. In today's era, you can get whatever you want on Google. So even if you have five minutes before your demo lesson, you could just go to Google and download a few images that are relevant to your topic. For example, if the lecture is about thick and thin, then you could download a few images that will have a thicker object and a thinner object and use that in your classroom. Make sure that the presentation slide or pictures are clear. They have a white light background and they are perfect to teach the concept that you want to teach. Technology should not be used just because you want to prove to the interviewers that you can use technology. This is not your technology class. This is your teaching class. 
So use technology in the most effective manner and in that limited time, do whatever best you can do with that technology. The next thing that you should do in your on the spot demo is to make complete use of the blackboard. Have you ever seen a classroom without the blackboard? That means that blackboard is for you as a teacher and you can make optimum use of it. I won't talk much about how to use a blackboard effectively because we already have a video. You could watch the video by clicking on the link and make sure that you use blackboard in your demo because this will tell your interviewers how well you can manage your handwriting and how well you can present things on the blackboard. Whenever you're giving on the spot demo, always remember to use method that you are super confident about. Just because you want to impress the committee while giving a demo, do not use a method that you've never used before. In fact, I would suggest use a method that you are the most comfortable and super confident in. This will help you rock your demo and the committee will also understand how good a teacher you are. One more thing that you have to do in your demo class is to take a pause and check the understanding of the students. The center point of any classroom is always the students. So whatever you're teaching should be grasped and understood by your students. You could ask them questions to know if they are getting the hang of what you're teaching or you could give them some activity to do and take rounds in the classroom to see if they are understanding the concept or not. If you don't have that much time, you can just call one student that you're confident about to solve a problem on the blackboard. If that student solves the problem well, the committee automatically knows that you have done a great job. You do not have to show any other result. My proven method to ease your demo lecture every time is to give values along with your lesson. For example, while teaching greater than, lesser than or equal to, you could just say that remember kids, boys and girls are always equal. Both can do everything that they can dream of. There is nothing called as boys can do this and only girls can do this. In today's era, everybody can do everything. Trust me, two to three simple lines that will give an amazing value to your students will make the interviewers understand that you are a teacher that is not only confined to the books but also to the world and you want your kids to be ready for today's world. If you want to take just one thing from today's video, let it be this point. Do not ever give a demo without a value. One thing that you should always do before leaving your classroom is to ask closure questions. Every lecture has some learning objectives. So before leaving the class, you have to ensure that the learning objectives are met. So instead of ending the class very simply, ask questions and let the students answer with their understanding so that you know that the learning objective is met. One thing that will help you ace not only your demo but also your actual classes as a teacher is practice, practice, practice. Suna hai na, practice makes a man perfect. That's really true. Until and unless you don't keep on practicing your lectures, you won't be able to ace it. Whether you have taught before as a teacher or not, for your demo, you have to keep on taking lessons. And the more experience you'll have, the better teacher you will be. If you're a fresher teacher with no experience at all, it's okay, yaar. gather your friends, family or even siblings and teach them something. They will give you an appropriate feedback and it's really, really important to take that feedback seriously. This brings us to our next point that is review and reflect. After each demo class, it's important for you to first of all reflect yourself about what went well in the class, what could be better. This feedback can come from the interview committee, your peer teachers or even your students. The quality of your teaching will drastically improve if you take this feedback seriously and imbibe all the improvements in your lectures when you go for teaching. One really important thing that smart teachers do is to have a backup plan. As a ho sakta hai that you've thought of a lesson plan and when you start teaching, you understand that the kids are not getting it. So it's always better to have two or three learning methods as a backup plan to use when your first method is not working. Remember, committee has asked you to give an on-the-spot demo because they want to test your presence of mind and how quickly you can take decisions and change and imbibe on them. So be smart and take decisions wisely and imply them immediately. The next step is something that you can take action on right now. 
As a teacher, you know what subject you are teaching and what grades are you applying for. Select any three topics that you think are appropriate to teach and start making lesson plans for them. Prepare those lessons as if you are already a teacher and you have to teach them tomorrow itself in the class. In this way, you will be prepared for anything that comes in your way of teacher interview. If they ask you to give a demo immediately, you can use it and if they want you to give a demo after three days, bingo, you have three more days to revise, practice and prepare for the lesson. A secret tip over here is that usually for on the spot demo, they do not give you the topic. Topic, they ask you to select a topic and give a demo. Essay time pe, if you are prepared, you will definitely get your dream teaching job. So start working on it right now, this movement itself. Last but the most important tip is that if you are asked to give on the spot demo, do not say no. Understand that they also might be testing your confidence. If you say yes, it will be like the cherry on top of an amazing teacher interview that you've just cleared. If you are a bit doubtful, I would still say ask questions to the committee about who will be attending the demo, what will be the duration of the class, what will be the topic of the class and so forth. In this way, the committee will know that you are ready for the class. You just want certain things to be cleared up. They'll be happily answering your questions and this will also help you have an amazing demo. Darna mana hai. You have to face your fear and accept the challenge. If you take up the challenge and do well in your demo, you are definitely selected. But if you are worrying about how will the demo go, main kaise padaungi, then you are anyways lowering your chances of getting selected. Rather, I would say accept the challenge, select ho gaya, to badia hai, or nahi ho bhe. So you always have some experience to take back home and be ready for the next interview. This brings me to the end of today's video. Thank you for watching the whole video. Confidence comes from building capability and capability comes from doing the same thing many number of times. As a teacher, you do not have to be ashamed to learn each and every day. Your teaching journey will be full of such ups, downs and challenges. So keep repeating your lessons and never be ashamed to fail. Keep learning and keep improving every day. As a teacher, you have to be a lifelong learner and in your journey of teaching, such ups and downs will keep coming. Be brave, accept the challenge, do not lose hope and keep going in the direction of your dreams. We wish you all the very best for your teaching interview and teacher demo. If you like today's video, do hit the like button. Comment, I want a new demo video if you want us to upload another video on how to give demo in front of the teaching committee. Share this video with your teacher friends and family and subscribe to Teacherpreneur and press that bell icon to be a part of the Future Makers family. See you soon.